Hi, I have a story for you, and I'm sorry that it is, I look like this, but it's the first thing in the morning, and if I don't do this now, it'll never get done. Um, so just forgive me. I'm sorry that I can't be there. I really wanted to be there, um, but I have to babysit, and that's the blessings that I get for being sober, is I get to, um, you know, be a good mom to my daughter. Um, and, uh, um, so I wanted to let you know about this, uh, cruise that we went on. Um, Denise and I knew each other pretty well, um, but I didn't know Sarah at all. Sarah Weber, um, Denise decided to invite, um, Sarah Weber because the more people you can get to go on a cruise, the less it is for everyone because you split up the, um, the cabin or room or whatever they call it. Um, Anyway, so our cruise was to Ensenada, and uh, it was the one of the worst storms that we had in a long time, um, and one of the worst storms that we've had since, to be honest with you. Um, I, I don't think we've had a storm that bad since, um, and... <clears throat> So it, the the boat, it was so rocky because the, the sea that we were like literally rolling off our, our beds. We'd roll off that way and roll that way. And it was just horrible. And I get really seasick. Um, and, um, you know, every we were all sick. It was, it was just really bad. But um, so when we got to Catalina, they... Um, they can't pull right into Catalina. They have to have like little boats come to the big ship and, and take you off. So we got to Catalina and then we were told we can't get off because the ocean is just too rocky. So instead of going to Catalina, they went to San Diego and we didn't have very much time in San Diego. Um, but somehow, I don't even know how we found out, but there was a meeting in San Diego that we could actually walk to. Um, it was at a church. Um, right near the, the harbor where the boat docked. And um, we were going to have to leave the meeting early in order to walk back and make it make it um, on time. <laughs> well, this lady said, well, you don't have to walk back. I'll take you. I'll drive you there so you can stay longer at the meeting. And so we were like, okay, great. How nice of her, right? This lady turned out to be absolutely nuts, okay? And so we all got in the car. <laughs> and as we were driving, she was driving further and further away from the ship and where we needed to go. And, you know, we're not from the area, so we weren't too sure, like, where we were. We had no idea where we were, but we just knew that she was taking way too long driving us in this car. And we're all looking at each other, like, with eyes, you know, trying not to be rude and trying to be grateful that this lady is giving us a ride, but she's taking us here and there and she's showing us this and she's showing us that. And you can tell she's, she's loony. And all of us have the same idea. Where is she taking us? And do we have any weapons on us? Because, you know, she's taking us somewhere to like murder us. We didn't know. And uh, I was just so grateful that they were behind. I was sitting in the front seat and they were behind us, me and the, this lady, because I thought, if anything, there's three of us and we could take her. And the two of them, I was just hoping that maybe they might have like a knife or something in their purse. You know, like I said, I didn't know Sarah very well. So I was just kind of hoping, you know. <laughs> anyway, she got us back to the ship and we ran up the dock and... Um, or the bridge or whatever it's called. And they were calling our names on the loudspeaker. And they told us that we had about five more minutes before they shut the door. And we were the last ones on the ship. And we were just like, oh, oh, oh. so we made it back to the ship um, and the, the boat took off. We went to Ensenada and again, rocky, rocky seas, rocky, rocky boat. Um, but we get all the way to Ensenada and 
we're like, yay, we can, we're right there. We can see the shoreline. We can see the Mexican shoreline. And we're so glad that we're going to be able to get off this ship and have a good time, have a day in Mexico. And so we're there early in the morning with our coffee, standing up at the, um, you know, on the deck. And we're like, yay, hello, hello, Mexico. And we're so excited that we get to go to Mexico. And the boat starts to turn around. And we're like, no! The boat, it was just, the storm was too bad. The boat couldn't make it into the harbor. So we spent the whole entire time on the sea. This is the cruise that we were on together that went nowhere. The cruise that went nowhere is what we were on. But you know what? That kind of gave us um, something to laugh about and something to have fun. And we had a great time. We had a blast on the boat. We bonded. We became really good friends. I mean, the kind of friend that no matter what, if anything happens, we're there for each other. No matter how long it's been since we've talked or seen each other. You know, when, when Denise... Um, before she died, I was able to text her without feeling like, you know, I hadn't seen her in a long time because of COVID. It was just like, we, we pick up where we left off, you know, and that's how it is with Sarah too. And, um, we, you know, we made such good friends. And the other thing I wanted to tell you is the three of us didn't need to go to a meeting while we were on that ship because, uh, you know, we had each other, you know, to help us not drink but we made sure to go to those AA meetings on the ship because what if somebody was on the ship and needed us and needed a meeting and we didn't want them to get there and have nobody there. So we made sure that we went and we met a couple that was there, um, newly sober, um, a man and a wife. And so that was really nice. But also we met a woman who was in OA who was having a difficult time with all the buffets and to this day, that lady and I are still friends. Her name is Carolyn Saunders. She lives in Canada. I mean, that cruise was a pivotal moment in my sobriety, showing me that we could have fun. And I made such wonderful friends. And Denise, Denise was one of the good ones. She was a good one. She was one of those people that you have on your five, you know, five finger friends. You know, you have five really good friends. You don't need a whole lot. You just need five really good quality friends. And she was one. And I miss her dearly. I'm so sad that, you know, we're not able to get back together. I'm so sad that we can't be there, but I know she's got a great place in heaven with her old sponsor, Terry Day. Anyway, I love you all. I'm sorry I can't be there. I miss you. I can't wait to see everybody in person. I'll see you on Zoom meetings.